too. It's the last Late Late Show of the year. Join Ryan Tuberty and guests tonight at 9.35. Now, though, Callum's mother is playing with fire on Shortland Street. I've decided I'm going to move in. I won't be needing that room anymore. I can't do this. That's what I came to tell you. Um, today was a mistake. Just stay here. Stay with me. No, I'm, I can't. I have to go. If you do, I swear that's the end of it. Well, if that's the way it has to be... I'll see you. Surprised to hear this older than me, aren't you? A little. I know how it looks, but I promise I'm not. I don't have some weird thing. Like we said before, you can't help who you fall for. Like you and I have a special connection, so did Heather and I. How long were you together? Five years. My first big love, I suppose. I was so much. W when you were doing your AMBO training, uh, sorry, I thought that might have been Chris, but it's way too soon. Oh, won't be anywhere near done yet. He was pretty scared before I said I'd see her before she went under, but I gave her a premiered early. Go and see Maya. Find out when Heather will be out of recovery. You don't mind? We'll talk later, OK? Don't take off. I'm working. And I need to talk to you, so please just stop a minute. Maybe I don't want to talk to you. Maybe I'm sick of the lies, the apologies, then lies, then I didn't lie to you. Maxwell and I have broken up. Yeah, then you got back together again. Well, sometimes these things aren't clear cut. It can take a while to end a relationship. Look, he's the dirty mongrel who ruined my family, and you're rubbing my face in it. No, hang on, please. I know this is hard for you. I know that I have been a shambles lately, but that is done with now, I give you my word. I want to keep things simple. Just you and me getting on with our lives. And don't you want things to go back to normal? Aren't you tired of this? It's really over. Guide's honour. OK, I'll come around sometime. Tomorrow. I'll make you dinner. No work health food. Let me give you a hand, Grant. Oh, don't be silly, love. You relax. Anyway, there's hardly anything to do now we're rid of the squatter. You mean Rachel? Why he ever took her in in the first place, I've no idea. The woman who killed your girlfriend. Yeah, but... but then he takes her side. Puts a murderer before his mother. Rachel messed up? but it's given her one hell of a wake-up call when she's trying to turn her life around. Dad is supporting her. She made her bed. Rachel suffers from a disease. Sending her to a hotel is like insisting someone with a broken leg goes jogging. Have a bit of compassion, eh? How did the nephrectomy go? Good. I went with a partial in the end. The tissue was viable enough to sustain adequate renal function? Yes, otherwise I would have removed the whole kidney. Well, of course. Which was your preferred course of action? Well, logically, a radical nephrectomy is the least complicated and therefore I would have thought it would achieve the most practical and positive outcome. But you have achieved a better outcome with a partial nephrectomy. So once again, you have proved that your instincts are more developed than mine. Which means? Which means you made the right decision. Thank you. You may call me Mr. Wright. I'd much prefer to call you Chris. Oh, you're back. I'm not staying. I left my phone charger here. How are things working out at the hotel? Fine. Can't be easy for you, though. Temptation at every turn with someone with your tendencies. They've taken the minibar out of my room. My drinking is completely under control, and I'm seeing a counsellor. Not that it's any of your business. I'm only asking. 
You are unbelievable. I'm trying to show some concern. She's vulnerable, isn't she? She needs someone keeping an eye on her. I can see that now. I'm sorry? You should invite her back. Thanks, but no thanks. Well, at least they for a cup of tea. Please, we can My talk. My taxi's waiting. Show some compassion and what do I get? How are you? Should you be sitting up? Don't even think about bossing me around. I'm fine. Rotten feather, you always were. <laughs> Cheek of it. Just miss my sister and her husband. Yeah, I know. I did latch around the ward till they were gone. Oh. Do you remember me coming in before the op? You were pretty out to it. Seems I didn't need my good luck charm after all. It went well then. Jim are gone and I get to keep my kidney. That's fantastic. You must be over the moon. Right now I'm on planet Mars. No offence, but I think I'm going to drop off again. I'll pop in tomorrow, OK? Hi, Heather. Time for your obs. Did the documents get picked up? All sorted. Thanks for your help. No problem. Tomorrow, don't you forget. As if. I know it seems trivial, but they've only got me and you for family speeches. Unless Hunter will say a few words. No, it's best he doesn't. I'll get my draft to you as soon as I finish it. I'm off to meet Rachel. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, actually, the panel beaters have sent us something for her. It's a speeding ticket from the night of the accident. Right. Look, hold on to that for a bit. Um, I want to speak to her first. I'll see you this afternoon. Uh, see you later. Um, my phone's out of juice. Do you mind if I make a quick call? It's local. OK. this one. Sid Mitchell, how can I help? Morning. Hey. Um, have you got time for a coffee? Why? Have you got BCC business to discuss with me? I can't think why you would have. It's not business, I just... Look, we agreed there'd be no contact aside from work. Don't be like this, please. I need you to understand about Daniel. If I could just explain... I've heard it all, Sarah. You devoted to him, nothing else matters. No sacrifice too great. Awesome for him, not so awesome for you. Meaning what? Meaning he's going to leave you behind very soon, go out in the world, have a life, and you... I wasn't going to do this. I'm not going to do this. You've made your decision. Do you have any idea how much pressure I'm under? Do you? I have this ticking time bomb in my body. My career is in the toilet. I have to live with the guilt that I have ruined TK's life and I'm a complete failure as a mother. This is my last chance to prove myself to my son and I have to give it all of the energy that I've got left and I can't see you as well. If I could, I, I would. Because you're right. You make me happy. Maybe we should have that coffee after all. I'm not saying... I know. If I want you, I have to wait until Daniel's out of the picture. Some things are worth waiting for. Come on. Oh, you snuck up on me. Sorry. I, I wanted to catch you before you went home. Are you OK? This is about our chat yesterday. Some things just don't add up. Like? I know it seems conceited, but I presumed that I was the exception rather than the rule, which means that Tanya... I was serious about giving it a go with her, Yvonne. I, I know. But it didn't work out. The heart wants what the heart wants. But you already knew which way your heart was inclined. No. I fell in love with Heather. Like I fell in love with you. Not because you're older than me, but because you're more in tune with me. The real me, the old soul me. <laughs> I made a mistake with Tanya, I admitted it. I thought we'd moved on. We have, and I do believe you. But the girls have been in my ear about something else too. What now? It doesn't matter. Why don't we get out of here for a while? Uh, go to the beach or something. I've got the rest of the day off. I was just going to pop up and see you there. Right. But I can go a bit later. Let's go to the beach. He's short of breath. And dizzy. 
Dr. Warner's on his way. I'm just going to check your wound site. OK. What's the problem? Uh, she's developed a bleed, plus shortness of breath, dizziness. OK, Heather, we're going to take you back into the theatre, Prepper. What's happening? You're bleeding from the operating site, and we need to stop it. Don't worry, Heather. We'll sort you out. Thank you. OK, uh, I'm sorry about last night. My mother has the tact of a sledgehammer. You don't need to keep checking up on me. I'm doing OK. Good, but I know it's not going to be easy. Every minute of every day, I feel like I'm going to give in. And I'm tired, because trying not to drink is taking up every single bit of my energy. So all in all, things suck. But it's not like I haven't done it before. You know, I've been through counselling and rehab. I know the drill. Not by yourself, you haven't. Look, is going it alone the best option for you? I need to stop relying on other people. But why make it harder than it already is? Tell you what, come home with me. Still be independent, but have support on tap if and when you need it. I don't want to disrupt your family, Callum. And then there's your mother. <laughs> one wrong word, one funny look even. I'll be down on her like a ton of bricks. Besides, I think she's come round to the idea. Don't ask me why. I still don't think it's a good idea. OK, it's your call. The offer is there if and when you need it. Suction, please, and more swabs. I can't see a thing. Damn. What? The renal vein is oozing. So is the ureter and the adrenal gland. Lazy clean. Diathermy. This is ridiculous. Her blood pressure's dropping. Can you up the metaraminol? No, she's up maximum dose. I'll put up another unit of blood. Quickly. She's hemorrhaging. Blood, Scotty, now. She's the one that cancelled. The rest of my week is book solid. You don't have to tell me. I keep your diary. Yeah, try and hold her off until next week. I'll try, but you know how stubborn she is. Oh, please, don't remind me. Uh. Tell her I'll shout at lunch, too. On it. I hope I'm not interrupting. No, of course not. Is everything OK? Actually, I feel pretty stupid, but I'm going to ask anyway. Mm. I'm hoping to take you up on your offer to move back in. Of course. I can help you shift now, if you like. Seriously? Mm, my last appointment just cancelled. Sophie wants to talk weddings this afternoon, so it fits in perfectly. We'll swing by yours on the way. I'm on my cell, Libby. Drowning your sorrows, huh? So I'm thinking of moving in with Sarah. Of course, that all depends on whether she's lying or not. That you guys have broken up. Uh, yeah, that's true. Properly broken up, or are you going to be sniffing around the house again? No, I won't be coming around, Daniel. <laughs> so how does it feel to be dumped? You crying yourself to sleep at night? No, but your mother probably is. Yeah, whatever. Then the happier you make her, the better you like it, don't you? I'm looking out for her. And with homewreckers like you around the place, someone has to. Well, you can blame me all you want, buddy, but this is all about you. You and that massive chip on your shoulder. You can't talk to me like that. Well, it's about time someone did, because you've made quite an art form of playing your mother. Relationships end, Daniel. Your mum ended it with Tika, and that's no one's fault. But you think it's my fault your relationship with Sarah has ended? Eat a prick. See, me and Sarah breaking up, that's temporary. We're on hold until you grow up and move out. So, whenever you're ready, I can wait. You did well, guys. So did you. Can I get a vase for these? I want to take them in for Heather. Uh, you should probably talk to Chris. Ben's a friend of Heather Sloan's. Is everything okay? 
We had to take her back into theatre, Ben, and we lost her. So, what do you think? Yeah, it's nice. OK, I need more than nice. Uh, what do we think of the yellow and white theme? Uh, it seems pleasant enough. OK, you're going to have to try harder than this. I don't want it to be all me. OK. OK. Pale lemon napkins, a white linen tablecloth matched with the white china and the goodie bag on the side. Mm, I need a cigarette. Uh, no, you don't. You said you were going to quit. You're late. Good afternoon to you, too. I'm helping Rachel. She's moving back in. I thought Gran kicked her out. <laughs> she does not dictate who lives here and who doesn't, Sophie. I can manage this. No, it's OK. Also, I was thinking that we could have white paper lanterns in the middle Hi, of the Hi, Libby. Hi, Rachel. A uh, quick call. I didn't catch you while you were in. Okay. What's the problem? Then... Callum will have mentioned it already. I just need an address to forward that ticket on to you. What it's ticket? about what I want. It's about what it's speed camera to ticket to arrived for you from the night of the accident. What do we think? Oh, where is it? Rachel, are you there? Kieran. No, being honest. Rachel, hello? Are you there? There's fresh sheets on your bed, so you're good to go. What's the matter? What happened? I got a speeding ticket the night of the accident. Let me just ring. Efficient to the point of annoyance, that one? I think I'm going to be sick. OK, that's all right. Come on, let's go. So not only was she blind drunk, she was speeding too. What's wrong? You're oh. grumpy at me because I won't let you have a cigarette. <sighs> no, you're right. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, the, the gift box, what's going to be in them? Well, to keep with the theme, Brooke and I were thinking that we could fill them with, like, lemon cookies, all those little lemon lollies. What do you think? Hey, are you ready to go? I'm not going anywhere with you. Why? What have I done? What you always do. You lie and lie and treat me like I'm some sort of idiot. What is this about? Why did I believe you? But I did. I really thought you wanted me to move in. I do. No. You're holding your breath till I take off so you and Maxwell can be together. He told me. Maxwell shouldn't have said anything. He had no right. Shut up! At least a scumbag straight up with me. Daniel... No, don't start. I'm done with you. For good. What happened? What did he do? Him? How could you do that to me? Look, I shouldn't have snapped at it. I didn't mean to... Don't come near me. Don't even touch me. You have wrecked everything! Hey. Lordy. I can smell the misery and disillusionment from here. I don't. I'm not in the mood. Come on, then. Spill your guts. Rachel got a speeding ticket from the night of the accident. She's beating herself up about it. I don't think I can do this anymore. Settle, bro. Ta-da! How'd you get this? Stealth and cunning. Plus a ridiculous amount of time spent crouched behind some god-awful thing in your future father-in-law's office. Shit. I just saved your butt. How can I be the bad guy? Because now you draw attention to it. If he'd left it alone, Rachel would have paid the fine and forgotten about it, but now there'll be questions. What questions? The ticket got lost. Big deal. Well, you don't understand. Libby doesn't lose things. First thing she'll do is order another ticket, and then she'll start investigating why the original magically walked off a desk. Fine. I'll sneak in, put it back, no damage done. No, you won't. Don't you screw it up like you do everything else. Are you sure you want to be here? Why don't I take you home? No, I'd like a drink. I'd have to sit for a bit. Scotch, please. A large one. Yesterday, everything was fine. She got to the op. OK, I never thought it would be the last time I'd talk, talk to her. You would have seen her this morning if I hadn't dragged you up. I wanted to go. I don't know why I'm like this. I hadn't seen her for years. She was a big and special part of your life. If you're here to make trouble, now is not the time. I know. Um, I, I heard. 
I, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. That's all. And um, I'm sorry that I was so mean to you. You didn't deserve it, any of it. I don't understand. Surely the patient dying has proved that you should have gone for the more cautious option, the radical procedure. All I'm saying is that if I had, the adrenal gland would have been removed as a matter of course. But your instincts told you that the partial nephrectomy would be equally successful, if not more so. Yes. But it obviously wasn't. The bleed was an unforeseeable complication. A complication that wouldn't have happened if you had gone with a radical nephrectomy. No. So even though the patient died, you still stand by your decision? For goodness sake, can you get off my back for five minutes? I'm sorry. I try my hardest. I make the decisions that I feel are the best, but sometimes the patients die, regardless. Don't tell me it hasn't happened to you, because I know it has. Yes, it has. I'm just trying to rationalise everything. Fine. If I'd taken the radical procedure, the patient would still be alive. Is that what you want to hear? Leave a message. I know you told me not to contact you, but I can't do that. You're my son. And I love you so much in a way that you won't understand until you have children of your own. I would give my life for you, Daniel, and I will do anything if you will just give me one more chance. Please. Finally, she's back. Sneaky little pedicure, was it? What are you doing at my desk? Uh, looking for Callum's appointment diary. I had hoped to schedule a meeting, and since his personal assistant wasn't here, I thought I'd just carry It wasn't there before. Pardon? Don't you pardon me, Karen Mitchell. I have been looking for this ticket everywhere. What does it have to do with you? Shortland Street is back after the Christmas break on Monday, January 6th. And tomorrow night we're celebrating a year that saw Ireland win its first gold medal at the World Championships in 18 years. The RTE Sports Awards are at 9.45. But on the way next here, it's Doctors.